Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm sharing one of my favorite recipes that I make when we have company at our house. So it's perfect for special occasions, it's beautiful and elegant, but it's so easy to make that you can make it any day of the week for just a regular family dinner. I'm gonna be making a baked steelhead trout filet with some garlic, shallots, fresh herbs, and lemon. And anytime you make an entire filet of fish, that means there's not a lot of work for you because you just place it on the baking sheet or on the grill and that's it. It's so easy, but it looks so impressive and beautiful. This is the steelhead trout filet and I'm just using it with the skin on, putting it on the baking sheet. You can also use a salmon filet just use it exactly how I use the steelhead trout. So this is perfect. You can even use entire fillets of other fish, for example, cod, that works really well here too. All you have to do to prep the fish is to just run your fingers and see if you can find any pin bones and remove those if there are any in there. Otherwise, that's it, just put it on a baking sheet. The only other ingredients we need are salt, pepper, and then some butter, garlic, shallot. If you don't have a shallot, you can also use a regular white onion. That'll work just as fine. And then some fresh herbs. I love parsley, dill, and of course, lemon. Finally, mince the shallots, the garlic, and the herbs. The shallots and the garlic are gonna go on top of the fish, but before we do that, we're gonna cook them in some butter first. And this is important, I've tried it both ways, and if you put them on the fish raw, just put it in the oven, they're not gonna get a chance to cook all the way, they're still gonna be slightly undercooked, and they're not gonna have that delicious flavor that they get when they're cooked in butter and a little bit caramelized. This tiny little step makes a big difference in the flavor of the whole dish. So we're gonna turn on the skillet, add the butter and melt it, and then we're gonna add the shallots. shallots until they're completely soft and tender and getting slightly golden around the edges. You don't want to make them completely brown, but just slightly golden. If you're using regular onions, they're going to take a little bit longer to cook than shallots, so keep that in mind. Garlic cooks much faster than shallots, so we're going to add those in last. Turn it off and cool it slightly before you put it on top of the fish. Season the fish with salt and pepper, and then we're gonna top it with all the rest of these ingredients. I'm gonna use the lemon zest and the lemon juice for this recipe, and the lemon zest has the most incredible flavor, and it's gonna make a big difference in the flavor of the fish, so don't skip this step. Don't worry about distributing the lemon zest too evenly over the fish because we're still going to be putting the shallots on so it'll get distributed evenly when you're doing that. Adding the lemon juice to the shallots and hot butter is going to cool it off slightly which helps because you don't want it to be piping hot when you put it over the fish. The oven is preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna get the fish in there for 15 minutes and that's it. 15 minutes, not longer. If you're using a bigger, thicker filet like salmon, a lot of times is bigger than steelhead trout, you can add a couple of more minutes but not more than five. So in total, 15 to 20 minutes and the fish is ready. Now here's one of my favorite things about this recipe. 
you can prep it all the way up to this point up to a day in advance or a few hours in advance before you're serving it so it's perfect for company not only can you do most of the prep work in advance but the fish is going to be perfectly cooked when you serve it it's going to be perfectly hot not overcooked since it only takes 15 minutes to cook you can put it in the oven when your guests arrive and by the time you get everything on the table get your salads and everything on the table the fish is cooked you can get it right out of the oven and serve it to your guests of course, this is really useful when making this for your family dinners, also because you can prep it in advance, and then when you're ready to eat, just put it in the oven and dinner is ready. This recipe is also great on the grill. So I use heavy duty foil, crimp the edges so that nothing is leaking onto the grill. It's gonna catch all that butter and drippings from the lemon juice, and put it on the grill also for about 10 to 15 minutes. What's great about using foil is that the skin will stick right to the foil and then you just use a thin spatula and it comes right off and it's perfect. The fish is so juicy and tender. It's perfectly flaky the way fish should be. And it's bursting in flavor from the shallots and the garlic, the fresh herbs and lemon juice. It's the ultimate composition of flavors and it doesn't need a lot of extras to make it special. Head on over to Olga's Flavor Factory to get the recipe and I would love to hear what you think when you give it a try and make it for your own family.